this is the continuation of the other review video that I did for IFR 16. So I come with the other question which is a bit different with the one that we were doing in the previous one if you you listen to the previous video. So uh, we're still doing the option to purchase. Remember on the last one we were dealing with the case where the chance of purchase was more than 50%. So in this case we're going to deal with the chance which is less than 50%. So let's go to the question. On 1 January 2021 Nokia LTD has entered into a contract with NOLA LTD. The following term and condition were stipulated in the contract. Nokia LTD will have the right to use building but will not allow to extend it. It's, um, it's a terms and condition number one. Number two, Nokia will pay annual amount of 100,000. There is a 10% chance that Nokia will purchase a building at the end of lease. Which means that in this case, chance is very low to purchase what? The building. The treatment will not be the same as the previous one that we did. Then the lease period agreed upon was 5 years. Then the other one useful life of building is 10 years with a residual value of 15,000. Okay. Other similar building will be be selling at 950 at the end of lease the effective interest rate is 10 percent all right <clears throat> now let's deal with the first part on how i'm going to calculate the present value for this one okay um let's start it here our present value we don't know it is the one that we are looking for our i is 10 percent Okay. then our n is fifth is five years yes it's five years it doesn't matter whether the the the, the option is more than 50 percent or less our n will remain number of contract it will remain number of contract it doesn't matter whether how long <clears throat> that uh, part will only affect the future value and depreciation okay then our PMT is hundred thousand our PMT is hundred thousand okay then make it negative on your financial calculator so that you would get the correct answer okay then the future value Uh, will be zero once you get that once you find that the chance is less than 50 percent make your future value zero why you, you, you there is nothing that you are going to pay at the end because the chance is low in other words this entity they still want you to 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 rent this building they don't want you to purchase it that's why chance is low so you, you future value there's nothing that you are going to pay in future. Okay, so this is the first part which is different from the previous one. So after that, we have to get the present value. Please make sure that you recalculate this on your own because I'm using the online financial calculator, which is not really stable. Okay, let me just go there. This is not an issue. Let's just go back here. Let's estimate the price of 370. The main purpose is to know the principle. Then you will calculate the correct figure on your own when you are practicing. 
All right. So this present value that we get is the one that we are going to do the first general to recognize our cost. <coughs> okay, we're gonna have J1 is pulled in. You have to indicate P SFP then three seventy thousand. Then we credit lazy liability. Then the amount is three seventy thousand. All right, you will recalculate the actual one as long as you are following the procedure that I'm doing. Then you will go right. Then J two, if you still remember, if you are using my the way I'm doing, we have to recognize the interest. Interest expense. Then we credit lazy liability because the interest increase liability. So the calculation, the one that you get from up, then you multiply by 10 over 100. <coughs> okay, I think you're gonna get 37,000. Okay, but please use the correct figure that you get when you calculate the the present value, which is in your financial calculator, thirty seven thousand. Okay, then the third one is the one that, uh, please guys, this one, get it right because it's a copy and paste. It's a payment. We are recognizing the payment now. <clears throat> the payment made was hundred thousand. Okay, we paid. It's a bank. Hundred thousand. Okay. <clears throat> then J four. Is depreciation then we have accumulated depreciation how do we calculate depreciation in this case okay let's go back here <clears throat> because the chance is low we don't use useful life to depreciate but we use the lazy term to depreciate because that asset will not belong to us at the end of the lease. We don't have to estimate that it will be 10 years. No, it's 5 years. Because the chance is less. So there is no hope that after a lease, we're still going to use this building. <clears throat> okay. I think you understand the principle. Then we're going to say the cost price of 370 that you calculate by financial calculator divide by five then you will get your depreciation amount <coughs> okay then g5 that's why you have to calculate current portion of a loan current portion of a loan so please if you you didn't follow up please go to the last video I explained it well about the lazy liability on how you should calculate this one all right I we have been done um, the other part that I want to explain, apart from do a journals, you might be required to prepare statement of financial position by using the same information. So, if you do the journals, it can be simple for you to prepare balance it. How? Okay, let me show you. 
you're gonna see an assets then under assets we have none current assets all right under non current assets we have a um, building you're going to say a building of 370,000 minus accumulated accumulated we don't know it unfortunately <clears throat> okay but calculate you will see that your balance it will balance for the first time okay then the other thing on asset we have a bank under current assets okay we have a bank maybe you will be given the balance then subtract the balance that goes out for payment hundred thousand okay after get that get the total balance of an asset then go to equity and liability okay start with a a capital which is not going to affect by anything then retain innings please whatever that uh, appear as a PL on your journal adjust it on retaining innings if you have been given the first balance start with it all income add them all expense subtract them so we have how many expense we have two we have depreciation we have interest expense Firstly, you have to say minus interest expense of 37,000. Then you say minus depreciation that you get when you calculate. <coughs> then we don't have other expense. Then you close it. Then, re then we go to non current liability. In this one, we have a lazy liability okay firstly you open it the, the lazy liability that you have you're gonna start from number first one of 370 thousand then what is on the debit you subtract what is on the credit you add then the second one we have uh, 37,000 on the credit that we have to add because it's increased liability ne? The interest increase liability then the another one payment which decrease liability hundred thousand okay then the other one for current portion of a loan you are going to subtract it this side and add it under current liability okay you're gonna have current portion of a loan <clears throat> then you add, you add the balance that you you subtracted here because we are moving it for long term to short term okay then if you do all this uh, and you get the total of equity and liability it will be same as total assets it will balance your balance it trust me just try it uh, then you will see so this is how you should do the balance it if this they didn't ask you to prepare uh, those journals all right uh, all right sharp